Your number one priority on the job, whether you're an employee or a manager, should be safety. Yours and your fellow employees. Right now, we're going to cover the safe travel practices that you'll want to be aware of and engage in. When you don't follow these safe travel practices, potential hazards include overturning the forklift, falling loads, being struck or crushed by the forklift, and collisions. Here are the best practices for safe travel. Always look in all directions before traveling. Always look in the direction of travel. If the load blocks your view, travel in reverse. Observe all traffic regulations, including authorized plant speed limits. Maintain safe distances and control of your truck at all times. A good rule of thumb is to keep approximately three truck lengths between you and anything ahead of you. Do not pass other trucks traveling in the same direction at intersections, in blind spots, or in other dangerous locations. If you're traveling over dock boards or bridge plates, make sure they're properly secured and drive over them carefully and slowly. Be sure to never exceed their stated capacity. Approach elevators slowly and enter squarely after the elevator car is properly leveled. Once on the elevator, neutralize the controls, shut off the power, and set the brakes. Forklift and pedestrian traffic should be as separate as possible. Pedestrian walkways with guardrails should be available, and their use strictly enforced. Never carry passengers. Always allow plenty of room to stop so that even if you experience a mechanical failure, you won't run into an obstruction. And of course, keep your arms and legs inside your vehicle. Let's touch once more on the importance of visibility. Poor visibility can lead to collisions, falling loads, forklifts falling off a loading dock, or workers being struck or crushed by forklifts. Being able to see is extremely important. In addition to the best practices we've already gone over, use concave mirrors when available to enter buildings or aisles. Equip forklifts with headlights if general lighting is less than two lumens per square foot, or if you're working at night, outdoors, or in any area where additional lighting would improve visibility. Drive slowly in and out of buildings, taking into account that lighting changes can make it difficult to see until your eyes adjust. Always stay away from the edge of loading docks. Physical barriers such as ramps, raised concrete staging areas, and heavy gauge safety chains in front of dock openings should be used, in addition to protective guardrails. And pay attention to warning tracks, which are strips of yellow paint on the floor near dock openings. Following these best practices and recommendations cannot guarantee there will never be an accident, but it certainly improves the odds. Knowing the risks and how to avoid them will help you do your job safely and effectively. For more information on workplace best practices, visit OSHA.gov. Thank you.